Hi, I'm Sink Weaver, and this is DKO. What is DKO? Well, DKO, or Divine Knockout, is a 3D platform fighter where your main goal is to knock your opponent off the main stage. It was created by Redbeard Games and published by the same people who made Smite, High Res Studios, thus the chibi versions of Mythical Gods. Now you might be asking, what is a platform fighter? Well, this is a platform fighter. This is Super Smash Bros., the father of platform fighting games created by Nintendo and the brainchild of Sakurai, Masahiro Sakurai. I also used to play competitively with this game. It showed me true despair. DKO, however, isn't just knocking out your opponent. You have different game modes and different flavors. 3v3 arcade, which I argue should be the main mode, 2v2 knockout, and 1v1 knockout. In the arcade, you have different game modes. Coin Blitz has you and your team collecting coins and distributing them in a chest. You can collect them off the ground since they will be dropped periodically or gain them from knocking out an opponent. King of the Hill has you and your team occupy a random circle on the stage and you all must work together to accumulate 100 points to win. The more of your team in the circle, the higher the priority you have to gain points while within the circle. Oddball, basically keep away. The goal is to hold a ball or a crown for as long as you can until a team reaches 100 points. Oh, and as long as you're holding the ball, you'll have enhanced knockback on your attacks. And lastly, Knockout, the game mode everyone plays the most, and that's because this is the game mode where it's at its most basic. Knock out your opponent eight times and you win. These are currently the only game modes in arcade, and winning three of them will net you the win. Hopefully, we'll see more variety in the future. 2v2 is a team of two knockout mode where you only need to knock out an opponent once. Well, one opponent each, since it's 2v2. And it's a best of five. And 1v1 is just only one player versus another one player. Same rules apply, you beat the opponent out once, it's a best of five. And for those of you who do not know what a best of five is, you have to win three rounds out of a potential five. DKO features currently 10 gods, perhaps 11 by the time this video comes out. You have Amaterasu, arguably the best character in the game, Sasanu, arguably the other best character in the game, Hercules, a big bully in Oddball and is faster than you think, and I'm not just talking about his dash ability, Athena, supposedly the hardest character to play because she has a parry and three stars next to this difficulty thing. It doesn't block ultimates though, but she's not too hard to figure out, she's pretty basic honestly. Thanatos, who leeches life from his opponent, and Soul, who has a spear bomb so she's automatically the best character in the game. Izanami, a scary god that can go invisible unless she's holding the oddball, but is quite devastating with racking up damage. And then there's King Arthur who, wait, hold on. Wait, is King Arthur even a god? Is King Arthur a god? Ymir is a big belly bully who has too much power in his freezing breath, can create obstacles via an ice wall, and is the heaviest character in the game. So he's kind of hard to knock out. It also doesn't help that Ymir's freezing breath can move around and it has super armor. And here's a tidbit, any character that flashes white while using an ability is invincible. That doesn't mean they have super armor, it just means that they're invincible. Those are usually called invincible frames, and it's best to know each and every character's invincibility frames if you want to be good at this game. Zeus is the newest character that's coming to the game, but is not available yet. His debut stream shows that he might just be broken, and I'm scared. Oh, and lastly, there's Thor. He can throw his hammer into a large explosion, but is very basic, and I swear he either has a small hitbox to his attacks or has terrible frame data because this god is considered the worst character in the game. His attacks can be beaten out by almost everyone. His first ability is very predictable. His ultimate is also very predictable and mostly too small to hit anyone, doesn't combo, and only goes in a straight line. It does have a very small invincibility window, but everyone can basically dodge it so I think I should just change my main. DKO used to be free to play, but then the devs said they wanted to make an actual video game and placed a price on DKO. In all actuality, the reason why it has a price is because it's going through a founders period. We don't know how long it's gonna be in a founders period, but it may go free to play afterwards. You can buy the game for $24.99 USD with the founders edition or $49.99 USD with the ultimate edition. The difference between the two is that the founders edition gives you the whole game, an epic soul skin, a decal, a profile card, and society along with a chibi version in the original Smite game. Ultimate gives everything the Founders Edition has, plus four extra tokens you can use to buy gods with, an epic Dark Hearts skin for Athena, a thousand runes, which is the premium in-game currency for DKO, the ultimate title, and bragging rights for spending $50 on a chibi Smite game. DKO also has an in-game shop. It uses runes, which you can buy with real money. Apparently, there's no pay to win, and everything on the rune side is cosmetic. However, Tim the Tatman is here in the game, 
Make that what you will of it. You also use stars, which you earn in-game, and it is here where you can buy profile cards, emotes, knockout effects, and god tokens. God tokens, by the way, is the only other way besides runes to buy a god. You can earn god tokens through leveling. As you level a god, this gauge goes up until you fill it out and get a free token. So, no matter what, you can earn all gods just by playing the game, if it was free to play. If you bought the launch edition, this may not matter to you. As of this video, the battle pass is still unavailable. I just hope it doesn't have any gods in it, since the version in Overwatch 2 isn't very appealing, holding their characters deep in the battle pass, forcing people to play for hours, but who knows, perhaps DKO's battle pass won't be so time consuming. And that's it. This is DKO a 3D platform fighter that shows some promise. It costs $25 now through its launch campaign, and they guarantee more maps and gods, and hopefully more game modes for the arcade mode. Also, if you're interested in being the best in the 2v2 or 1v1 mode, they do have a leaderboard on their website. Good luck. DKO is available on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC via Steam, and Epic. All of it cross-play, I may add, and I'm pretty sure you can play this on your refrigerator. As a new character, Zeus, coming out soon, and again, he seems broken. And if he's already out by the time of this video, well, forget what I said about this. Go play Zeus. Try it out, and I hope you have fun. Bye now.